Hello everyone, this is Mythonian. And Casey's Crag. Bringing you another Warlight ladder game. Yep. This time our opponents, Dunga and Hey Hugh Hey. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. The dreaded combo. The dreaded combo. <laughs> Two um, of the best players in Warlight, so we will ha just have to uh, show them up. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Yeah. They are at the time this game was created ranked fourth, um, mm -hmm. and we're yeah. ranked sixth at the moment. Yep. So if we beat them, we can move. Our ra oh, and our rating went up. Actually, we're out finally out of the seventeen hundreds. Yeah, amazing, right? For the moment, it, it only took like ten games. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I'm uh. going to join. Yep. You already did, so I'm late. Oh, well, we're not going to trip their profiles because you should know about them. If not, you should be Watch watching more the tournaments. Wargaming Live <laughs> tournaments. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're in Which? a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Ontario, Libya, Ufa, Korea, Papua New Guinea. I yep, think those are the five wastelands. Yep. Hmm. Okay, so... Ch -ch -ch possible... Let's huh. see. Interesting, interesting. What do we got here? Mm, I'm not liking many combos on this board at the moment. No, this is a very strange board. Huh. You know, East China is actually sort of strong here. At least in Southeast Asia. It's interesting. Yeah. I, it's I like East safe. China. I... Scandinavia is not bad and either, it's except like against Germany. Central America, South America, and Antarctica. This is weird. This feels like one of the few maps where I actually uh, like Central America more than South America. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean it's huh. like both Florida and Texas are bordering it, so it's like the least safe you can have Central America. Like, yeah, well, almost. Un unless it's like your start was in Panama. Although its biggest threat is normally South America, but... Yeah. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, just because of the position in South America and Central America, I'm thinking one of us should plan on making... Uh, like Bolivia, maybe a, a three pick or something, a two or three pick, and then Cuba right after that. Yeah, I hoping agree. that they get Bolivia, and then we can get a little information about that, and definitely know what to do from Cuba. Um, Possible Greenland Scandinavia combo would make each other safe because you do have the wasteland in West Russia, so S Scandinavia is safe, and you do have the wasteland in Canada, even though that's never chosen anyways. Yeah. I mean, the only risk is a Europe counter. Mm -hmm. But that's, you know, minimal. Okay. Uh, or so we, we could, could have potentially yeah. someone... Sorry, we could potentially have someone go for 1-2 in Cuba and Bolivia. And that's not too bad either. Yeah, but... Uh, I think that person would be probably countered. I don't think they would leave that open. Oh, yeah, I know. But I'm just saying that 1-2, it definitely won't be bad. Yeah. I mean, it's like Hey Hue is going to go for safe fix and Dunga's going to probably go aggressive. That's what I'm thinking. He's going to go for a quick burst of income, so he might even go for a Caucasus or something. Caucasus uh, Tomsk, maybe? Probably. <laughs> or possibly Southeast Asia. Oh, yeah, Southeast Asia might be all right. Well, no, Tomsk probably. He would probably go for uh, Tomsk as a, a number one and then Georgia number two if he was going to do that. Yeah. Just because Tomsk, you know, it's more likely to pick Tomsk than Southeast Asia, I think, on this board. Yeah, because in the long term it's easier to, it would be easier to expand into Central Russia. Mm-hmm. So we've got that possible combo. We've got East China, which is pretty 
secure at least for the first two turns until someone can border it. So and you can get it in two turns. East China seems really safe. Yeah. I do like East China and I I do a little bit like Greenland and Scandinavia, although that would be iffy because you want you would need to have both to make them safe. Mm -hmm. And you would need it to be one of each person on your team. Because if the same person got it, then they just wouldn't be able to expand after they got those two, really. They would just have to go into Europe and then just check on Caucasus, and then they would just be out of the game for the first half of the game. Yeah. I mean, the well, other person gift could cards. give them something, but, yeah, I mean, that has limited capabilities. Well, of course. I mean, you've got a plan beforehand to be able to use them correctly. Mm. I do definitely like East China, and then... Yeah, do definitely either South America, Central America, or South America, Antarctica. Although Antarctica, not so much because mm -hmm. it's harder to keep. No, Antarctica, I don't really care for here. Except maybe if you wanted to, if you found someone in, if you couldn't get a spot in Africa or some reason you wanted Novo. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But, but I do I, think we should have. Eh. One of our later picks or mid picks in Somalia. Yeah, Somalia is not bad. Hmm. Hmm. But you know, Changzi. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. On this board. I do think overlapping is the better picking strategy. All right. Hmm. So you want to go with one Cuba, two Bolivia. Well, what I was considering was uh, trying to go with something where we can both, well, Scandinavia-Greenland combo. Eh. I'm not so sure if it's that amazing. What I was it, considering was one of us go for the South America, Central America, the other one go for Scandinavia, Greenland. Well, that person who goes for Scandinavia, Greenland, if he gets that he's out of the game, I mean, until you gift him something, really. Yeah. I and know. If That's you why. get countered, then, it, it, especially in Central South America, it can be hard to gift someone something. No, it could be pretty easy if we planned ahead for it. Yeah, but the thing is though, if you were caught off guard by a counter you might not have uh, the well, time to prepare. Um, it's just uh, especially that as a combo, I'm not sure about it being a combo. Yeah, I mean either that's what I was, that's why I was thinking nah, it's not really that great. Hmm. Well, I like going first two in Cuba Bolivia and then uh then Jang Z is number 3 that would be f that seems fine to me hmm mm. and then maybe <laughs> yeah and then after that either Scandinavia Somalia or central Russia Scandinavia Somalia hmm Hmm, might be better actually to go with number three is Somalia. And then number four and five in uh Jang Z in Finland. Okay. And then maybe Oh <laughs> I love I love your uh your your chat. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, so, what I was thinking was maybe Cuba 1, Bolivia 2, Somalia 3, 4 in Jiangxi, 5 Finland, 6 Tomsk. Yeah, probably. Basically, our first three, I think, are pretty likely that we'll get two of those three at least. Yeah. Especially Somalia. Yeah, after this we should try coverage. Like mm -hmm. maybe Texas even. Really? Counter. Well, 
if we get to seven and eight, then we missed several of our picks. Probably not the first one. pick, though. Well, you're... then we should. Yeah, I'm. I agree. Yeah, good point. But <laughs> you talk today. Um, yeah, East China, Scandinavia, or Central Russia. All, almost certainly, we're we'll probably gonna miss two of those. Oh yeah. Uh, so maybe like, mm. I don't know. A good counter to Scandinavia, the best one would probably be Georgia. Well, maybe not the best. Mm. Best one would be Germany. Well, I don't know. I mean, Greenland can work as a good counter. If I mean, you're prepared to go into Svalbard hard yeah. and your opponent doesn't expect it, yeah. Well, if if we put Greenland as seven and they didn't get it already, they probably didn't choose it at all. Well, what I was thinking was uh, Xinjiang might be a better uh, seven just for control in that area because it not only could help against East China, but against Central Russia as well. Well... Yeah, but it's weak yeah. against Central Russia. Yeah, you're right. Start. Yeah, you're right about that. Then it would have to be Pakistan. Yeah. And that's not too bad. Unfortunately, it's a little slow getting e to East China. That's why East China is so good. Mm hmm. 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 And maybe eight. Heck, we could even do West Africa. That's probably not that bad. No, it isn't. We could do Ghana. West Africa, or as an eight, I guess Antarctica is not really that bad. I mean, if it gets to eight, then we know that they don't uh, won't know that we have it. They won't be certain of it. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. So whatever we put as eight can be a counter that they won't know about. Hmm. So we can do that. Either Ghana would work as that, or Antarctica could work as that. The difference is that in Antarctica, you can get the bonus at the same time that you expose yourself. That's true. So I think for well, that it purpose, depends that on who better. you're... No, you could do the same thing with East Africa. You'd have to go up to Niger, though. No. Wait, what? To prevent yourself from going to Nigeria, where you'd be seen but from Brazil. Well, that depends on if they have both of them. <laughs> yes. Which is a little less likely. Although, I do like Ant uh, Novo better. I, I d at this point, if we go that far in, quick bonuses would be nice too. Yeah. Because chances are we won't have any other safe bonuses. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Which seems... Although it's like, Pretty I'm likely. starting to think about this. I don't know if we should put Cuba ahead of East China. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I, I would, I'm honestly thinking maybe China, East China is one number one, and then continue on from there where we, Cuba 2, Bolivia 3, Somalia 4. If we were going to go with that, then Bolivia might be a better number one. Well... I mean, b b uh, number two. Yeah, I see what you mean. Just because it would be more likely that uh, they would go for Cuba as a number one. Well, re it, remember if if you if they already get your number one, then it goes to your number two without any delay. So. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Never mind. Forget that. Good point. So Jiang Z, I agree with you there. I like Jiang Z as a number one. I think it controls that area well. Well, yeah, it does. Really well. I mean, it does take a couple of turns, but you can even do what central Russia from there. And, you know, instantly it controls Southeast Asia, and it's safe from the back because of Indonesia. Yep. And it takes a while for Central America to get to it. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. It's very, very safe. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with these. Yeah, me too. It's it's pretty reasonable. Yep. Hmm. We'll see.
how many mistakes we make later on. <laughs> it actually, maybe, what about Tomsk and Finland? Five and six, yeah, yeah, I do like it better that way. Five and six in Finland than Tomsk. Yeah. I mean, I think uh, five in Scandinavia is good because um, that way we only get it if they did not choose it as their one or two. Mm -hmm. uh, it, that way it's like they would probably only choose as their one or two if either they simply wanted a safe bonus, in which case they should also be going for Greenland if it's their top. <laughs> um, so if we see them in Finland, then we can imply or we can assume Greenland as well. True. I mean, I don't really think we... If we do get it, then we can also assume with pretty certainty that they're not in Greenland. Unless they put Greenland as like a 7 or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yep. Because it would almost definitely be our second... Whoever got Finland's second pick. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think it is definite. Yeah, it would be their second pick. <laughs> so, yeah. Hmm. Hopefully that's good. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. It would be Don't really good. nice. Hey, you, hey. If we got Chang Z. Chang is so awesome. East China, man. Look at that. It's glorious. All right. Hopefully this works out and we're not making some grievous mistake which will be pointed out in the comments. <laughs> That's always Oh my fun. god, how could you guys miss XXX? Ah. Mm. Okay, uh. well, we will see what happens when territories are distributed. Indeed. Okay, territories have been distributed. Woohoo! And uh, we got our first two picks between us. Yep. And then they got our third one. I got four, they got five, and you got six. Yep. So we got one, two, four, six. They got South America and Scandinavia. Mm-hmm. And the other likely picks they have are Antarctica and Southeast Asia. In my yeah. opinion, those are the most likely two. And then... Alternates could be like an African pick. Yeah, maybe Ghana. Ghana, or maybe maybe yeah. even South Africa. Mm -hmm. And they probably know about Cuba and East China. East China. We can assume that because those were our one two. We got yep. them. They probably had it as a slightly higher pick. And uh, so In yeah. All likelihood. So if there is someone in Southeast Asia, then he almost certainly knows about East China. Mm -hmm. And so he may act to counter that. Yeah. Um, eh. Makes me think I should expand in Central Russia, but... Yeah, if he doesn't know about Central Russia, then Central Russia would probably be safer. But if they, they might be able to guess that you're in Central Russia... And then they could just go Tad, Eastern Kazakh, and counter you with a double border. Mm-hmm. Which would suck. Yeah, that, that would suck. That would pretty much... That would suck. <laughs> pretty much. Hmm. Hmm. But if they could do go India, Tibet, Shanzi, they would have a triple border on you. But you would have a one-turn notice by being able to see them in Tibet and probably fight them for Shanti. Yeah. Um, so I'm thinking whoever's in Scandinavia probably has Southeast Asia, and whoever's in South America probably has Antarctica. So maybe... I think you should take Venezuela and probably blockade yeah. there, and then maybe go to Kenya and give me that spot second turn? And then you could try. I, I could try moving out to South Africa. Yeah, if someone's in Antarctica, that would be a good pressure on them. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's like at that time when you get Kenya before you move to South Africa, that would be the turn when you see someone in Tibet. So you, we can see if you should do that or not. 
No, I was thinking you should gift it to me uh, at the f next turn in Kenya. Yeah, second turn. Yeah, but I wouldn't yeah. see him in Tibet until the turn after well, that. Well, yeah, once you get it, then turn after I gift it to you. You would be able to see him in Tibet. Yeah, but I, I would see him in Tibet the same turn I got gifted in Kenya. Yeah. That's what yeah. I said. Okay, I w all right. <laughs> Not really sure. Well, I was just saying that that way you know if where you can put your troops. If you do see someone to, in Tibet, then you can uh, counter that appropriately. Yeah. And if you do not, then you can just put put everything in Kenya and hit South Africa because you mm -hmm. would have East China done by that point. Hopefully. Yep. Oh, I will. I will. Yeah. I'm just going to leave two guys sitting in Cuba and take Mexico next turn because I don't want to hit Venezuela with less than five. Well, actually, maybe it should be... I'll go three there. Five there. Yeah, that's better. All right. I'll do that. All right, cool. I've committed. It's pretty oh, simple. Okay. Are you going to Venezuela and Mexico? No, or? I'm going to leave two guys in Cuba and go to Mexico next turn. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. If he comes out at you, then you yeah. could try to... I won't have a, yeah, I want to have that extra left over in Venezuela. Yeah. And then you could blockade over there. That'd be cool. Yep. Okay, well, I'm going to commit now. Hopefully this works. All right, watching turn... Yep, watching. Will All they right. destroy us? Yes, I only lost one in Shanghai. Nice. Will they destroy us? I don't Crap, see you lost one two in, in Venezuela. Yeah. I took Hong Kong. I didn't. I don't have any leftovers over there, though. Crap. Hmm. Okay. Right. Well, I can easily blockade Venezuela now. All right. Yeah. Just. You don't even need to place anything. Yeah, and I can gift you Kenya. I'm assuming you still want it. Yeah, I do. That will let you get that as soon as you finish your bonus. And then I can now, I'll put two guys in Cuba so I can hit Mexico with four. Uh huh. And then I can put three guys in Somalia and still take, like, Ethiopia. That might be a little too greedy. Uh, no, I think you should just put everything in Cuba and hit Mexico. Mm -hmm. Because you wouldn't be able to take East Africa till the turn after that anyway. So you sure. might as well just not do anything over there and gift me Kenya. And it is possible that he went to Argentina. Uh-huh. And is going to hit Colombia with a lot next turn to try to catch me off guard. He could try that, yeah. Okay, well, I'm blockading Venezuela. Should you just move one out uh, and let it be a 10 stack or let it be 15? Uh, I think 10 Not is sure. plenty. <laughs> no one's going to hit a wasteland usually. Not this early anyway. It'll keep him from getting that bonus. Yeah, and it gives me one extra little guy for delay, I guess. <laughs> sure. All right, well, my moves are pretty simple. Oh, hey, Hugh Hay is active right now, so he's doing his turn. Ooh. All right. Well, let's see. Then I guess I could try going to... He did his turn in under a minute. He did well, his turn impressive. He, like, well, they knew what they were doing. They had a plan. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Tomsk. Hmm, what do I want to do with those guys in Tomsk? I guess... You can go ahead and take a, like... Omsk or something, so you can get into a position to get. Or uh, it might be better leftovers if you go Tura, because I mean you're not going to be able to commit enough guys to get an extra anyways, because you'd be hitting South Africa. Yeah, yeah. Well, or then you might, heck, you could even wait another turn before doing yeah, that. Yeah, I think I'll wait another turn. Yeah, because just you can just use it later as a way to guarantee a card piece. Or not, maybe not guarantee if you just want to hit with three, but at least it's more likely than not. Yeah, yeah, I understand what you mean. All right. So what are you gonna do here? Just blockade in Venezuela, move one out to Cuba. Uh -huh. First move. Gift Kenya and then hit Mexico with seven. I just committed, so you can actually look at my moves if you want. All right. 
One, yeah. Seven, yeah. All right, let's do it. I'm committed. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens when they do their turn. Yep. Okay, turn has advanced. Let's watch. Watching. All right. And there's our gift. All right. So I'm not seeing anyone in Colombia, Brazil. Yeah, so you're gonna be able to get good. your bonus. That's nice. Oh, I got minimum losses. Woohoo! Lucky. Yeah, although that doesn't really help me <laughs> at all with where they are. Okay. Um. Yeah, we did not see anyone even go to Colombia at all. So that means thankfully no one's bordering Central America. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So you can go to Panama with no worries this turn. Yep. Well, assume they could go to Colombia this turn, so be worried yep. about that. I think... I didn't see anybody come up into Tibet. So I'm thinking that whoever took Scandinavia, uh, whoever's in Scandinavia got it last turn, maybe is planning on putting everything down in India and hitting Tibet this turn. Yeah. That's, That's my quite guess. possibly, yeah. He may have wanted to hit it with all eight reinforcements this turn, so we waited until now. That yeah. makes sense. So I'm going to hit that. Same with, with if you wanted it. to go with Kazakh. So yeah, yeah. He will probably go to one or the other. <laughs> but Tibet is obviously more devastating to us. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so what? You thinking of hitting that first move? Yeah, I'm I'm, I think I'm going to do that. And I'll hit it first move. I'll move Sounds my good. twos in to Jiangxi and Shanghai. And I'll sit with everything else next turn, depending on what happens. I'm afraid they could come out of Ghana, too. Uh, if We know they're in either Pakistan or Ghana, uh, honestly. Mm -hmm. I think someone, whoever has South America is probably in Antarctica, and whoever has Scandinavia is probably in Southeast Asia. But Ghana is a possibility, too, especially it, it could happen. Where they, if whoever was in Scandinavia would have moved to Cameroon last turn. And so they could yeah. take the whole bonus this turn. True. And that would be pretty bad. Pretty bad. We'd be in a not so good situation from there. He'd be at thir well, 12 reinforcements that turn. Yeah. Either way, though, if someone's not in Pakistan, then I think we may still win the game just because I'll be able to expand so quickly. Yeah. I mean, you'll be pretty safe. I mean, you've even got that wasteland in Ufa, so they could even only border Central Russia from Vorkuta. Yeah, that's a nightmare. <laughs> that's a nightmare for someone trying to fight from Scandinavia. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> okay, so it's either West Africa or Southeast Asia. Hmm. hmm. Well, I only need three reinforcements to guarantee Central America, so I could put a couple in Somalia, and I guess we could try hitting Congo. Like each with mm. a couple in the like last two that we make. I mean, we can do that, or we could even go with a couple extra. Uh, well, if someone was going to come into Congo, I think they'd come in with enough. So, it'd, yeah, we should probably just sit with those. Okay. I mean, uh, they they would only be attacking two territories and have eight reinforcements plus the leftovers in Cameroon. They'd yeah. be attacking with five to six, so I don't think we have en we'd have enough with our two two to take it. Okay. Uh, also, do you think I should attack with all nine in Tibet or eight in Tibet, and then place one in Tomsk and go to Omsk? Eh. I think eight will be enough. I don't think nine will make a difference. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking because. 
best, I mean, the worst that could happen is he could get first move in with his eight, and then I still wouldn't take him, even if he, even if he, uh, bleh, even if he took it and lost maximum casualties, so he went down to six. Nine still isn't likely to take six. What's the possibility there? It's like, yeah, nine's, eh, it's about a 41% chance. Hmm. But when you encounter the likelihood of him, him losing maximum casualties, it drops. And that he wouldn't have any leftovers there beforehand, it drops even more. So really, it likely hits probably less oh, than yeah. 10%. Yeah, you're right. So 8 might as well happen. Uh, although, hmm, and then if he had leftovers, then he might actually be able to take me. Hmm. Then, uh, well, I think the eighty percent chance of getting a getting ops with three is good enough yeah, to prevent right. that risk. That's true. So I'll go with the nine attack in Tibet, and we'll see if someone's in India and Pakistan. If mm -hmm. someone is, then that'll make things a little simpler, I guess, because we'll know that someone's over there. <laughs> And then we'll yep. be reasonably certain where all four of their starting spots are. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we will just go into Congo that turn. Unless I see someone in Colombia, in which case I'll be obviously messing over there now. <laughs> hmm. Hopefully I get my first move into Tibet. All right. Got a 50-50 well, chance. Yeah, yeah. Assuming they're there. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'll go ahead and do it. We'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going to commit. All right. Turn has advanced, so let's check that out. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Well, I got to move in. Yeah. No one's in India. That means okay, hopefully they don't go for West in Africa. Ghana. We're going to have to hit out West Africa now. There you go. There's your guy in uh, oh. Colombia. Mm -hmm. All right. So they instead of going to India or anything like that, they had the guy in Bolivia went to Argentina, and then after he his three months, put everything there to hit Colombia. Okay. Well, this is pretty clear cut. All you need to do is, uh, well, put everything in Panama. I okay, guess. he can hit me with 17. I can have 10, and if I get first move, I'll have 11 defending. Seventeen seven plus seventeen would be at eleven. No, he can't hit you with seventeen. Seven plus eight. Oh, you're 15. right. I don't know what I was counting. Yeah, I don't know either. Um, if he hits me with fifteen, he will kill nine. Yeah, but I'm gonna be going to South Africa. Okay, if I get eleven in, which I hope I do. Then I will kill eight. He will still kill nine. Hmm. So I can. Yeah. The oh, I'll ha I have to get first move. If I don't get first move this turn, then he will probably be able to take me next turn. He may be able to take you, but he'll lose his bonus in Antarctica. Yeah, but uh, it's not. I should have had those two guys in Somalia over here as well. That yeah. Was a mistake. Yeah. Well, actually, if you can hold out, we'll get a card next turn. Well, oh. Hit Congo uh. with the two from Kenya, for with an extra two from Kenya, and then uh. I can get, I can capture Congo from. Yeah. Somewhere. All right. And then two. you've got le you've got enough guys in Southeast to, uh, in Tibet to hit India, and then your guys from Jiangxi and Shanghai can go to Hong Kong, so you can get Southeast Asia tomorrow next turn. All right. Uh. I will take or attack Congo second move. Okay, I'm hitting it third move, so that's good. All right, and then you are moving out of Baja to Mexico. Yep. You're doing all of that. All right. Unfortunately, I suffered maximum casualties in both attacks in Central Af America. Yeah, that's, that's bad luck. That is unfortunate. All right. Well, hopefully you get your first move in, and then you'll be in a little better shape. Yep. And hopefully. They don't oh, go to Congo. God, yeah. <laughs> Congo right now would probably be game. 
No, that wouldn't be game. Well, because they would get a card before we would. In which case, he would easily defend his bonus in Antarctica and still break me, probably. That's what I'm saying. Mm. If the other person had Ghana and now goes to Congo, and considering that we still haven't seen anyone in Southeast Asia, we can probably assume that. Yeah. It seems likely. Um... Well, I'll be taking Southeast Asia, and I'm, I don't know if that would be game. It might, hmm. It would put us at a significant disadvantage. How would the guy, how would 13 be enough, 13 reinforcements would not be enough to defend Antarctica and take you in Central America? True. Yeah, you're right. He wouldn't be able to do it, so it wouldn't be over there. He would be able to do one or the other, whichever he chooses, but as long as we keep the pressure on him, we'd still get a card the next turn, because I have enough to do that. Yeah. And okay. well, we, we'll it would definitely it. still be a fight. Yeah. Escape. All right. So, okay. it's second move. Yeah, second I'm hitting move, Congo I'm attacking third. Congo. Yeah, that was fine. Because I'm hitting it third move. All right, cool. Okay, hopefully this works out. We will see what happens when turn advances. Indeed.